When you think about the teams that had to go over obstacles, climb mountains, jump over hills to make it to the end of this season due to COVID-19, you look no further than the Northern Cyclones. This team had to work harder than almost anyone on the planet to get this season in, and they did it safely, smartly, and correctly. Another win for the Flanagan family in this organization. And Coach Bill Wyan's team, during the regular season, amongst it all, when 27 10 1 0 with 55 points, a lot to say about this plus 87 goal differential for this Cyclone side that they pulled in. To get here, they won their Granite State battle against their in state rivals, the New Hampshire Monarchs, and won another series. So, two series wins to make the trip to Nationals. They've absolutely earned their way here in every sense of the word. This Cyclones team, Lucas, I mean, it, it's got to be a. They get to take a deep breath now, and they just got to worry about hockey for five more days. That's it. And this Cyclones team is primed and ready for this pool play scenario, Dan. They got great production from both a right winger and a right defenseman. Riley Ott, the right winger, two goals, two assists. I always love to talk up defensemen. It's one of my favorite things to do, and that's why I'm talking up Jordan Rosenbaum. One goal, three assists, even making his presence felt on the power play. And this Cyclones team is incredibly disciplined. They're incredibly effective when you give them the extra man. They can play you five on five. Their systems play is second to none. And they've got, I think, some of the best two-way players in the game. And the net minding that they had in those in that premier opening round, Dan, they're leveraging a 936 save percentage between their goaltender's core. So with the offense and the defense, there's not many gaps in the Cyclones game. Yeah, and if there's one thing the Cyclones always can do, it's play defense. But what I love about Bill Wyand is, is he allows that creativity as well in the game. They're, it's a, they're allowed to open up at times, and they can kind of run away from you for a moment. They, that's how you get the, the goal differential that this team had. I mean, this is a squad that they can play it both ways. They allowed only 74 goals in 38 games. I mean, I'm not even going to try to do the math really quick, but that's less than two a game. I mean, if you're allowing less than two a game come playoff time, you win most playoff games that way. They play playoff hockey all season long. From game one till the final game, they're born and bred to play big hockey games, and that's going to serve them well in pool play. Cyclones, if they can get the net minding, it allows the forwards and the defensemen to crash the net and collapse. So on the shoulders of Kyle Meyer and Trevor Wong will be the destiny of the Cyclones. And you can watch that destiny unfold all weekend long. There'll be semifinals on Sunday. There'll be finals on Monday. And the Dan K Show will have the call on both the premier semifinals and finals games. So make sure you stay tuned all weekend long.